If you beach comb in Southwest Florida, there is a good chance you'll come upon one of the creatures we have down here, the nine-armed sea star. The nine-armed sea star will sometimes bury itself in the sand and then gulp mouthfuls of sediment. It then filters the sediment through oral spines feeding on the organic material and small organisms that accumulate on the ocean floor. This critter doesn't seem to be eating anything, so let's take a closer look. Now the movement is aided by a water vascular system that provides hydraulic pressure to their mini tube feet. So all those tiny feet you see moving are waving around due to the hydraulic pressure from the sea star. In the very center of the creature, you'll see its mouth and it does have the ability to regenerate its arms in the unlucky event it happens to lose one or two. Now you'll see this critter decided it wanted to get closer to the water. So it's gonna use that water hydraulic system to ever so slowly make its way back to the water. The tube feet of the nine-armed sea star is a bit different than the other relatives because this critter doesn't have suckers on the end of its feet. And this creature also looks like it picked up a shell on one of its arms and maybe it will present that as a gift to one of its many sea star friends. Sea stars belong to a group of animals whose name means spiny skin and includes sea urchins, feather stars, sand dollars, and sea cucumbers. The nine-armed sea star can grow to a diameter of about 12 to 16 inches, so they can get pretty big. It can be found around the coast of Florida, in the Caribbean Sea, the Gulf of Mexico, and all along the coast of South America, all the way down to southern Brazil. The nine-armed sea star is a scavenger and a predator, so in addition to the sand gulping method it uses to eat, it will also consume mollusks, crustaceans, and other worms. So if you happen to see a big old sea star with nine arms, you know you found yourself a nine-armed sea star.